Hi, this is Tablet Store UK, and we're just going to take a very quick look at the Winslate One device dual booting with Windows 8 and Android 4 ice cream sandwich. Um, we're only going to take a very brief look at this. Uh, this is the consumer preview of Windows 8. We're not signed into a Windows Live account, so normally here at the Metro styled uh, front screen, you'd have uh, some extra applications. You'd see tiles from things like your Live Drive and other services that you connect to. So we're not seeing that at the moment, so it's quite a basic. Uh, set up. Um, there's plenty of videos already on the web about Windows 8, but we just take a very quick run through. Essentially, you've got the desktop uh, running almost as an application uh, which you launch from your Metro styled start screen here at the front. Uh, something that will probably frustrate a lot of users is there's now no start button on the device. Uh, you access start by pulling in the side here. Uh, that also means that you don't really have your list of applications, they're all on tile here which you can move around, rearrange, resize and these are live tiles like on Windows Phone 7. Uh, what you do have is uh, a search feature which allows you to search your current apps uh, in the same way that you would search your apps from the, uh, from the start bar in Windows 7 I suppose. Uh, you've got the ability to pull in other apps that you're already running and swap between them and if you want to run multiple apps at the same time you've got the functionality to dock those applications although there aren't that many applications that you're going to want to run in such a small space but I suppose they're thinking of things like messenger clients uh, added to the consumer preview build if you pull out and in you've got a list of your recently running applications and you can also pull an application down and decide where you want to dock it and then bring in your second app so all of that's very pretty and I think for most people using Windows pretty useless as well uh, you've got a few niceties uh, down here with regards to quick access to uh, wireless volume brightness, the sort of things that would normally be down on the in the bottom right hand corner uh, on a normal Windows desktop. Notice that there is no indication of how much battery life you have. Uh, that, that just isn't there. Is it in notifications? That's turning notifications on and off. So brightness, volume, wireless, so those sort of things seem to be absent at the moment, whether or not they'll come back in. You've got a, there we are, we've got a indication of the battery there. One of the other complaints about Windows 8, and I think something that's going to work a lot of people or confuse a lot of people, is that you've got a version of Internet Explorer 10 that launches uh, from your Metro styled home screen, and you've also got the option of running Internet Explorer 10 on your desktop. And those two Internet Explorers are not uh, sharing uh, any information, they're not sharing bookmarks, uh, you can't have a page loading on one. Uh, and share it in any way on the other. So you've got two versions of Internet Explorer side by side. That is going to be very confusing for people. Take a quick look at the on-screen keyboard. I would say that the on-screen keyboard is improved, but not for all situations, uh, depending what you're doing. Uh, some people even like the Windows XP keyboard. You've got usual controls that you'd expect with a tablet and different tabs that you have open at the top. Uh, screen rotation should be working as well. Or not. Okay. All right, let's just reboot to show you that you can, in fact, reboot into Android 4 Ice Cream Sandwich on here. So, settings, power, restart. Now on the Winslate 1 device you've got buttons down the right hand side next to the, uh, that's a Kensington lock here, you've got your power button, uh, what will act as a down arrow key on our uh, boot menu. Uh, it's also usually a back key or something like that in Windows and an enter key. So we'll be able to use those keys uh, in order to move around on the boot menu.
Okay, here we are at the boot menu. So you see we've got Android 4 and Windows on that menu. Android is the uh, default option present on that menu. And there we have it, we have booted into Android 4. Uh, forgive me, I'm not especially into uh, We're not going to take a great look at things here, but we may as well go into a browser. That's uh, the last page we were on. See screen rotation working. Just take a flick through the app tray so you can see what's on there. And this is just a completely uh, vanilla build, as it were, of Android. There's nothing really going on here at the moment. Really, just to really just to prove the concept that you can dual boot both operating systems on this device.